total internal reflection is an interesting and commonly tested phenomenon where light remains within a medium and doesn't escape it because there is no refraction going on. In order for total internal reflection to happen, a few conditions need to be met. First, the only way you can avoid having any refraction is if the angle of refraction is 90 degrees or greater. So if you imagine that, then that means the light will be staying within the medium. The interesting thing that happens there is that the light doesn't refract at all, but instead all that you have is reflection and none of the light is dissipated out of the medium due to refraction. So in order for this to occur, what you need is to be contained within a medium where the medium you're in has a greater index of refraction than its surroundings. Then what you do is solve using Snell's law, which is that n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2. And you set sine theta 2, or whatever the angle of refraction is, to 90 degrees. So this will be 90 degrees for theta 2. And then you can solve for whatever angle of incidence you need in order to first see total internal reflection. That angle, the angle at which you first see total internal reflection and where the angle of refraction is 90 degrees, that angle is called the critical angle. And as soon as you find the critical angle, then any greater angle than that will exhibit total internal reflection. And that means that the light will stay contained within the medium and not escape whatsoever. You might see this with fiber optic cables or various other applications. But the bottom line is it's a simple Snell's law application, but the only thing is that the angle of refraction has to be 90 degrees or greater, which means that, life, that light does not actually refract and doesn't escape that medium.